Story The wish of two brothers who want to get married on the same day. When his old man died, the king called his two sons, Abdul Latif and Abdurbaman, to entrust them with the responsibility of their father and number 39's court affairs. After the two brothers bowed to thank the emperor for his kindness, they retreated to the royal garden in the palace to chat. The eldest brother said, Now that we have jobs, why Don and number 39, T we get married? That and number 39, S right. The youngest brother replied after thinking for a moment we will each find ourselves a fiancé and we will get married on the same day. Who knows, maybe we will become fathers again. Abdul Latif continue it would be wonderful if you had a daughter and I had a son. May they be born on the same day? Abdurbaman added. Then we will get them married. How much will you pay my daughter? Abdul Latif suddenly asked about money at least 3,000 nails, right? Nothing? Abdul Latif replied we are brothers, I think you should give your daughter to my son for free. I Don and number 39, T agree at all. The eldest brother raised his voice. So from a normal conversation under the shade of the fig tree, it turned into a rowdy argument. The two brothers blamed each other for everything, a thousand and one nonsense things and finally angrily went their separate ways. That night, Abdurbaman could not sleep. Anger and bitterness choked him. He felt ashamed to have argued like that with his eldest brother. The next morning, he prepared a donkey. I need to be alone. He said to the soldiers when they asked him if he wanted them to follow my heart is sad. He left the city and headed straight ahead. After many days of traveling on the road, he finally arrived at the capital. The vast city of Istanbul. The Turkish vizier was looking through the window when he discovered him. He wondered who was that neatly dressed young man riding the golden saddled donkey. He invited him into the house. Abdurbaman went in and greeted him politely. Istanbul Castle asked him thousands of questions. Abdurbaman recounted a foolish argument with his brother. The Prime Minister immediately suggested, If you Don and number 39, T want to go home, why Don and number 39, T you stay here? It and number 39, S.A. Pleasure, Sir. Abdurbaman replied, As the days passed. Dot. Dot. The Vizier of Istanbul became more and more sympathetic to the young Syrian man. They discuss all sorts of things and enjoy walking together. In the magnificent gardens of the castle, one day, the Prime Minister said to him, I am already old without a son. Luckily I still have a very charming daughter. Do you want to be her husband? I will tell the king to let you continue with the royal duties in my place, and I will rest thanks to that. Abdurbaman replied, this is truly a great honor that you give me. Abdurbaman said so because of his capital. Was conquered by the beauty and gentleness of the vizier and number 39's daughter. So Abdurbaman became the vizier of Istanbul. He worked hard, was not negligent, courageous and determined, so he soon became a courtier. Can and number 39. T. Miss the King and number 39, S. Side. Everyone respected and loved him. Abdurbaman also became richer and richer. Exactly one year after the wedding, his wife gave birth to a son, named. After his brother Abdul Latif learned of his younger brother and number 39, S. Death, he bitterly blamed himself for letting him go. That stupid argument happened. He decided to look for her but to no avail. Day by day, he lost all hope of finding his 
youngest brother. Some time later, Abdul Latif married the daughter of a rich merchant in the city. And as Allah had arranged, his wedding took place on the same day as his younger brother and number 39's wedding. A year later his wife also gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. Abdurbaman and Hash 39's son Hassan grew up very quickly. He was very intelligent, not only was he raised well, but he was also very handsome. The king also loved him and often spent a long time talking to him. On the day the boy turned 20 years old, his father passed away. Sick, Abdurbaman called his son, took his hand and said, Our life in this world is very short. We live, grow old, and then death comes. Take a piece of paper and write down what I said. Hassan accurately recorded his father and number 39's story from the time he left his hometown, his wedding day, and his birthday. If one day you meet something, Abdurbaman whispered through a cough, go to Syria to meet my brother, your uncle Abdulatif, and give him this paper. Tell me that every day of my life, I will remember him. Hassan rolled up the paper and put it in the double silk on his scarf. That very night, Abdurbaman passed away. The funeral took place in the cemetery behind the citadel. Hassan looked at the blue sea with the sound of waves and prayed for a long time, trying to dispel the sadness but could not. Unable to leave his father, Hassan built a small hut next to his father and number 39's grave and stayed there. The king waited for Hassan to visit him, one day, another day, one month. Another month without seeing him. Displeased by Hassan and number 39's action, the king became angry. He sent soldiers to capture Hassan and ordered him to be thrown into prison immediately after capturing him to relieve his anger. Hassan and number 39's friends came to report, Escape, Hassan, the king wants to put you in prison. Hassan again near my father and number 39's grave, I picked up a stone and thought. Here, no one can force us to go anywhere. That and number 39, S against morality. And quat. Night fell, the stars were shining brightly in the sky and Hassan was sleeping. Dot. Dot. At that time, there were many demons living among the dead and only appearing at night. That day, one of them passed by Abdurbaman and Hash 39, S. Grave and recognized a young man. It came closer to see clearly. Abdul Latif and number 39, S. Daughter was also 20 years old. She is very beautiful and gentle. The king of Syria wanted to marry her, but the prime minister refused. He has not forgotten the promise he made to his younger brother that he would marry his daughter to his son. He did not know where Abdurbaman was. He ordered the girl to be forced to marry the poorest and ugliest of his servants, a hunchback stable master. The wedding must be held the next day. The demon approached Hassan. I have never seen such a beautiful boy. But I will kill him anyway. I will take him to the middle of the desert and let him die of hunger and thirst there. I have also seen a beauty like that, said a female demon flying by. Is that true? The first demon acts. That is a ravishingly beautiful girl in Syria. That is the daughter of Prime Minister Abdul Latif. But tomorrow she has to marry a hunchback. How is that possible? The demon acts. Because her father made the king angry. It and number 39. S.A. Pity, she should have married this handsome guy. How about we interfere a little in human affairs? Smiling and suggesting. 
that and number 39, s great. The female demon applauded anyway, you can and number 39, t kill this guy. He was protected by his mother and number 39, s love. The two demons gently lifted the sleeping boy up and flew towards Syria. When Hassan woke up, it was late at night, stars twinkling in the sky. There is no tomb nearby, it is no longer Istanbul but a completely strange city. He rubbed his eyes, wondering if he was dreaming or not. Don and number 39. T be afraid, the female demon said gently it was I who brought you here and you will not regret it. Put on this brocade shirt and go to the castle. On the road, you scatter these gold coins, people will kneel at your feet. There is a wedding being held. Please approach the bride and groom and look closely at the girl. Hassan found it interesting so he did as the demon said. He dressed and left. The royal hall was brightly lit. The torches and candles shine like thousands of fire flowers. Hassan threw gold coins to the dancers, musicians and servants, so he had a place of his choice to observe the wedding. The music played and the couple appeared. The girl wore a beautiful dress, her face covered with a transparent veil. Next to Hassan, just looking at her, he could see that he was a small and terribly ugly man. He seemed to be overwhelmed by his wife and number 39's grace and beauty. The girl lifted her veil and met Hassan and number 39's gaze. The ceremony begins with songs and dances. The hunchbacked horseman sadly walked away in the hallway. Suddenly a mouse crawled closer to him, its whiskers shaking continuously. What do you want? The hunchback acts. But the mouse did not answer. It grew bigger and bigger and turned into a cat and growled in a cat sound. The cat swelled even more and turned into a puppy. The dog bit loudly. Go away, this dog the hunchback shouted. But the dog had grown very big, this time it turned into a donkey. The donkey roared again, then swelled up and turned into a buffalo. He angrily asks, why do you dare steal the girl I want to marry? Not me. People forced me to do that. The hunchback whispered while shaking his limbs. If you don and number 39. T go away immediately I will stick my horns into your belly, the buffalo shouted go away and never come back. The horseman the miserable woman was extremely frightened, threw her legs behind her and ran out of the castle. The female demon was extremely satisfied with her trick, escaped from the buffalo and number 39, s guys and returned to the wedding room. There the scene was filled with confusion because everything was ready but the groom had disappeared. The servants ran everywhere looking for him but could not find him. Little did they know, a while ago, the groom had already left the capital. The girl thought to herself, and quat, may that disabled old man disappear forever, and may Allah grant that strange boy to be my husband. And quat. She blushed a little and looked down in embarrassment, but that guy really made her heart flutter. The night came and went by so quickly, the two demons had to be quick because just when dawn was just beginning to shine on the horizon, everything would be over. Their power will disappear. They burned a blade of grass over a candle flame. Anyone who smells this vapor will fall into a deep sleep. Just a moment later, all the guest dancers, servants, dot, felt extremely tired and collapsed on chairs, on the carpet, and on the floor. Everyone was in a deep sleep, including Hassan and the beautiful young girl. 
The demon lifted Hassan and number 39's towel and placed it on the chair and then gently lifted the young man up into the air. A moment later, it placed him next to Abdurbaman and Hash 39's grave in the cemetery of Istanbul. Hassan woke up at dawn. He was surprised to see a woman sitting next to him. He immediately asks, What are you doing here? I and number 39 am resting for a while. The demon said and laughed. I dreamed a strange dream. Dot. Dot. He recounted last night I found happiness. Maybe you will find it in your life. The demon said gently. Hassan sadly replied, I don and number 39, T think so. Real life only brings us unhappiness. My dear father has passed away, I don and number 39, T know what to do, and I don and number 39, T know where to go. Then you should return to the capital. The female devil advised him. No, I can and number 39, T because the king will put me in prison. Disguise yourself, become a cook for example. Put on your white clothes, sprinkle some powder, no one will recognize you. You should open a shop and work. But where can I find clothes to disguise myself, money to buy cooking utensils and even rent a shop? The young man complained. The clothes and money are in this bag and the cooking utensils and shop are near the city gate on the right-hand side on your way home. Hassan turned his head towards the woman but could no longer see it. Dot. Instead there is a cloth bag with chef and number 39's clothes inside. Money and a little powder for him to sprinkle on his face and hair. A completely different Hassan returns to the capital. He found the shop the woman had mentioned had everything inside to prepare a meal. With tools and food available, he immediately got to work. Originally a courageous and talented person, he quickly made the restaurant famous, and customers in the area loved to come to his restaurant to dine. Prime Minister Abdul Latif was very happy because his daughter and number 39's wedding with the hunchback could not take place, but from that day on he changed his mind. I feel worried because my young daughter is always sad and depressed. Many times he even caught her sobbing alone. He knew the reason why his daughter was sad but the strange young man wearing the shirt had disappeared. Abdul Latif thought a lot but could not find a way to help his child. One day someone brought a beautiful towel that had been left on a chair in the palace hall but no one claimed it. Abdul Latif picked up the towel, stroked the edge and felt something hard. He curiously removed the double fold and saw the will of Abdurbaman, his younger brother. His face gradually turned red. He suddenly exclaimed, Oh my God! What a number 39! S the matter, father! His daughter asked worriedly. Do you know who that strange handsome guy is? He exclaimed because of the content of the piece of paper he just read that is my brother and number 39's son. Everything we wished for 20 years ago has now come true. We got married on the same day, he has a son, and I have a daughter. That means I will marry that guy because that and number 39's what we wish for. I don and number 39. T know how I can marry him because he and number 39, S gone. The girl said bitterly. You and number 39, rewrite. Abdul Latif admitted after calming down but it and number 39, S okay, we will find him. The next day, the prime minister ordered a thorough search in the city, then sent messengers to Damascus, Egypt. But nothing came of it. Let and number 39, 
S. Go to Turkey and see what happens, he suggested to his daughter. The group was very long because it took a lot of camels to transport them. You, your daughter, the servants, food, drink and water. Even more gifts. He wanted to give it to the leaders of the lands along the way. They traveled on the road. For a long time, passed through many capitals and finally arrived at Istanbul. They entered the castle and were warmly welcomed by the king. Your Majesty, do you know the young man Hassan, son of Abdurbaman? Abdul Latif axed with hope in his heart. I know him. The king replied angrily I used to love him very much, but that ungrateful name is now gone. Abdul Latif and his son also axed court officials and wealthy merchants in the capital, but no one heard anything about Hassan. After 33 days of fatigue and disappointment, they decided to return to their hometown. Dot. The group is about to leave the city gate. While the father was giving orders to the servants, the sad and pale prime minister and number 39, S. daughter recognized a chef, his face smeared with powder, standing in front of his restaurant. She said to Abdul Latif, Father, I am number 39. Am a little hungry. I will eat something in this restaurant and by the way ask the other cook if he knows where Uncle Abdurbaman and Hash 39. S. son is. Abdul Latif replied, If you are hungry, tell the servants to get something for you to eat. I don and number 39. T want to know anything more from that chef. But the girl is still determined. Despite her father and number 39's warnings, she headed towards the restaurant. As soon as she set foot in, she said loudly, I and number 39. I'm so hungry. Hassan immediately recognized the girl. He stood motionless and could N and hash 39. T say a word because he was so emotional. Are you mute? She said, angrily stomping her heels on the floor. No need to stomp so hard, lady. Hassan said and laughed. Who are you to dare to confront a prime minister and number 39? S. Daughter. The girl cried out angrier. I am me, Hassan calmly replied, We shouldn't and hash 39. T. Argue because it and number 39. S. Sad when we have to break up in anger. Yes, we will be upset. But we won and number 39. T. Break up. Hassan said while bursting into laughter, and in just a moment, I, a poor chef, will join you in the palanquin. Well, instead of saying stupid things, bring me something. To eat. She was decisive. So, do you want lamb or white beans? Both, she replied dryly. Hassan disappeared into the kitchen. He prepared a tray of fruits, juicy peaches, fresh apricots, and berries. Pears from Bidance. One tray of Indian spiced cakes and the third tray filled with sweet, honeyed cakes. He washed his face, combed his hair and turned back. She looked down at the trays in front of her in surprise. Clearly this is not lamb and white beans. She looked up and cried out in shock. In front of her was the boy she had been looking for for so long the handsome boy who suddenly lost his trace, the son of Abdurbaman. She blushed both happily and shyly. The young man opened his arms wide and she quickly ran back to nestle herself against Hassan and number 39's chest. Dot. That day, the people of Istanbul witnessed a strange scene they had never seen before. Before the sympathetic eyes of the Prime Minister of Syria, the child his daughter held the hand of an ordinary chef and walked side by side onto her palanquin placed on the back of a camel. When he returned to Syria, 
Hassan asked Abdul Latif how much bride price he had to pay to marry his daughter. The wedding between Abdul Latif and number 39, S. Daughter and Abdurbahman and Hash 39, S son took place very solemnly because the gods had granted their wish. People and number 39. S wishes must also be celebrated properly. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.